guys, it's Hasa and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be making and designing my very own Beanie Boos. I actually made a part one to this video already, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's get right into the Beanie Boo designs. So here is my first Beanie Boo design. Basically, I took Glitzy the Reindeer as my base and I used the color changing tool to make her fur a teensy bit darker. And then I went in and I removed her antlers by kind of coloring over it just in white. And the reason I was doing these things was because I was making a Beanie Boo deer. And Ty has never ever made a Beanie Boo deer. And I have always wanted one because I really love the Beanie Boo reindeers. So I think that just a regular deer would look super, super adorable. Horrible, so I really hope Ty makes one one day. And then here I am changing Glitzy's nose from this like green sparkly color into this more natural brown color. And I actually used Oki the raccoon's nose for this, so yeah. And then here I am kind of painting over her hooves to also make them this brown color to match her nose. And I was kind of inspired to make this Beanie Boo custom like after I saw the Beanie Baby Deer because I just think that a Beanie Boo version of that would just be so, 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 so cute. But guys, tell me in the comments down below if you had the ability to design any Beanie Boo you wanted, like any Beanie Boo at all, no restrictions at all, then which one would you design and what would be its name? I'm really interested to hear your ideas. But here I am kind of painting on like the white little spots that some deers have on their backs, but I just decided to put it on her forehead because why not? And then I also colored in her ears to make them kind of like this creamish, almost grayish kind of white. And yeah, I think that everything just matches really well and I really like how this was coming out. And if this was like a real Beanie Boo, I'd also put the white spots on her back because why not? And I'd also give her a little deer tail because how cute would that be? And then here I am giving her these little tiny brown freckles, which I just thought were a really cute touch. And I also decided to give her eyelashes. And to do that, I basically took a picture of the eyelashes off of another Beanie Boo. And I just kind of cut them out and I put them on her. And I don't know, I just really like the idea because, you know, I gave her like Bambi eyes. Then I just doubled them, flipped them, and put them on the other eye. So here is my Beanie Boo dear. I honestly really like how this Beanie Boo custom came out and I really hope Ty makes something similar in the future. I'd probably name her something like Dawn. I think that would be a really cute name, but tell me your guys' ideas too. And now onto my next Beanie Boo design. Here I basically took the Beanie Belly Thunder and I grabbed his head and I put it on Warrior's body, which sounds a lot worse than it is, but <laughs> yeah, here is kind of like my little merging. My goal with this was basically to take the Beanie Belly and convert it into a Beanie Boo because I really, really like the design that Thunder has and like honestly just the color scheme like the light blue and the black is really really pretty to me so I really wanted to make a Beanie Boo version which honestly would be great if Ty also did and here I'm just like recoloring the gray on Warrior's body and making it blue and I was trying to get it to match up which was kind of difficult at first especially since I decided to use a new app because I usually use PixArt but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I also had to color in his chest, which is kind of like this off-white yellowish color. And yeah. So anyways, guys, here is my custom Beanie Boo Wolf. I honestly just love the Beanie Boo Wolves so much, so I just had to make one. Ooh, now on to my next Beanie Boo custom. This one was probably the hardest one to make, but it was probably one of my favorite ones too. Basically, I took Gilda the Flamingo as my base and I used the color changing tool to make her like this light blue color. I really like the color I picked out for her. And then I made her eyes this really, really bright green, which I really love. I kept her beak the same golden sparkly color and here I am just kind of like cleaning up the edges of my work. And the next thing I did was really, really fun. I basically went on Google and I typed in peacock plushie and I found one that I liked and I pasted it in and I kind of like erased everything around her peacock feathers and I was trying to get it to like fit around the Beanie Boo. But guys, peacocks are just such gorgeous, gorgeous animals. I mean, the pattern on their tail feathers is just beautiful. So I just needed to make one. And Ty has actually made like a peacock flippable before, but they've never made a Beanie Boo. So I 
really hope that one day they make one because we need one, guys. Like, we just need one. And getting the feathers from the other plushie to fit onto my Beanie Boo custom was more difficult than it looked because I had to erase everything around it and then I also had to erase like the original stuffed animal from the middle and then I had to like size it like here I am like pulling and pushing it and then like erasing in the middle and yeah it took me a while like these clips are really sped up but I spent a solid amount of time on this Beanie Boo custom. But guys, do you have any tips for making my Beanie Boo customs a reality? Because I have seen a lot of people who take real life Beanie Boos and they make them into like real life customs. And honestly, that would just be super cool to do. But I have no idea where to start. So if you're a Beanie Boo customizer, then give me some tips in the comments down below. And here I am just making sure that everything looks nice and neat and I also made the tag visible and her wings visible and also just making sure there wasn't like any white spots that I didn't want. And for one last final touch, I decided to add some eyelashes onto her. And I know that some people really don't like eyelashes on Beanie Boos, but I honestly just think that it makes some of them look really cute. But I basically just used the same process to add eyelashes onto her that I used with my Beanie Boo Deer, and yeah. And voila! Here is the finished product of my Beanie Boo Custom. I am really, really proud of how this one came out, and I really hope that we get a Beanie Boo Peacock in the future. Tell me in the comments down below what you would name her. And moving right along, we have my next Beanie Boo design. Here, I basically took Asia the Tiger as my base, and I put her into grayscale using a filter. And here I am just kind of like erasing the filter from her eyes and also from the insides of her ears. And this was so I could change the color later more easily. And basically my goal with this Beanie Boo was to create a white tiger because we've had a snow leopard before and we've had like an arctic fox. So now what we need is a white tiger because they look so cool and just that would be so cool on a Beanie Boo too. But basically my next step was just to grab another filter and just play around with the settings until I could get her tiger stripes to look as dark as I wanted them. And then I went to the color changing tool and I made her pink eyes into this really, really pretty dark blue color that I really, really like. And here is my finished Beanie Boo White Tiger design. This custom was really fast and simple to make, but I think that she is just really, really cool. So anyways guys, those were all of the Beanie Boos that I designed for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this, and be sure to tell me in the comments down below which one was your favorite. Anyways, please comment, like, subscribe, and bye bye